Okay, everyone. Hi, hello. So today I made a capitalist economy. Now, in a capitalist economy for a kingdom means that everybody's gonna be a uh, competition for, uh, well, you know, capital. Now, what is capitalism? Well, let's define it. Everybody is an individual and each one has their own bank accounts and you can both uh, do guards and services around the kingdom. And, well, this is a capitalist economy. This is what I built and I'm very proud of it. Now, I didn't build these. I didn't build this. I didn't build any of this. I built the roads. I built the plot lines and I built this and I built that. Now, I am a capitalist government, which what does that mean? That means I will build the roads and the people will build for profit. Now, I'm, I sold plots. These plots for five blue still each and everybody has made a profit so far. I think people, I think I've given about like 600, to, no, not 600, about 400 away on the server. I mean, you just saw me give away 200. Um, so that's basically half of it. Now, um, as you can see, I have a gigantic wall around it, you know, just so like annoyances don't bother me. I mean, if you're going to like build spam for no reason at all, well, you got to build a ladder first, which requires planks. So good luck with that. Uh, they're just annoying. Now, of course, you do have some strays they could buy. I do have a little bit of entrances, but it doesn't really matter. Now, somebody just added a gate to my building. Why would you add a gate to my building? Um, so... I guess they wanted style points. Uh, you might want to stay away, or, or you can open it up. Can, can you open it up? Thank you. So this is my base. I mean, I just wanted to go for something cool, you know what I mean? And you can have all these things go around and around. And yeah, pretty nice building. Now, the same thing over here. It's a double story. It's like a little bunker up top, and like a little storage place, you know, conference rooms in there. Uh, it goes out, too, as you can see the backside. Um, and I basically built the roads and I sold the plots and people developed on it because it would increase the property value It's really that easy. I have a general who uh, who is named distorted. He's saying protect this kingdom. I pay him hourly uh, He gets about 50 still uh, that was his highest paycheck so far. He's gonna get paid about a hundred next um, And he also gets funding for armor. So he'll get like hundreds periodically just to fund the uh, army so if you die don't be scared to die in our kingdom because we will su resupply your blue steel so just give it your all all right now sometimes if there is a hacker which does happen occasionally they're either shocked and they don't actually go against it and um yeah it's a very big build even if you destroy one building uh look around what is that to 100 so yeah so how do you run a capitalist society well um all right so he's gonna get a uh, pay here i'm gonna fund his thing uh, he'll get a pay later. Wait, I gave him. So, yeah. I gave him 50. Alright, I don't know why he dropped me 50. Uh, is this the same guy? Did he not join it? Uh, he, uh, because this sort of gave the order that, um, that happened. So let me run you down the tutorial. You need blue steel. You need a lot of blue steel. Well, you need a currency, but I chose blue steel because it's a reliable currency and everybody wants it. So, uh, with blue steel, blue steel is hard to get. Don't forget that. I did start with 2,000. I put some on an alt account so I can grind, uh, basic resources like stone so I can make all the stuff. So I put it on alt so I actually have bag space and I'm not running slow. Um, I may need to uh, put some more blue steel on my account. I have 2,000 blue steel if you guys are wondering. If you saw my last video, I showed you the grand method, which is two times better than the, you know, okay. Enough uh, self-promoting my own video. But yeah, that's basically what I did. I give people uh, money. Uh, with the money, it goes round and round. People have been trading with each other. People have been doing jobs. People have been uh, working the land. People have been building houses, building architecture. Um, hold on, is this somebody bullying? All oh, right, hold on. Let me get my crossbow out. Uh, right here. Replace with the axe. I need to chop down a tree. All right, let's kill this guy. It shouldn't be that hard. Oh well, it is kind of hard. Uh, now that I'm in combat, I think he logged. Uh, is he part of? It looks like brown to me. No, it's black. All right, that's beast. Uh, is he running up the mountain? Is he trying to take down a kingdom? Bro, this is an actual organized kingdom. All right, people have positions of power. People have income. People have plots. People have property. People have what they need. And, uh, yeah, you're not going to take down an actual organized. I know there's going to be some goofballs who have, like, two, two, like, people with blue stone be like, oh, we took down the entire kingdom. <laughs> it's so easy. I take down kingdoms for fun. Yeah, you, you haven't messed with this kingdom then because this kingdom is actually organized. Um, are you a gray? Aren't you an enemy? Wait a minute. I thought we were at war with gray.
But I really did think we were at war with Grey because they were uh, talking about raiding the server and who's the biggest kingdom. Yeah. So like me personally, if I were to take down this kingdom, um, yeah, I'm getting no response from this on this matter. That is, I'm in peace. Okay. Uh, I don't care. This sordid uh, responsibility. Um, yeah, yeah. I hope you don't kill <laughs> because then it's like an eleven versus one. All right. So uh, if you guys want to know my insp, are you? Bro, why are you so hungry, man? <laughs> why was he so hungry? Alright, so... Basically, this kingdom is definitely really nice. I built better ones before, but this one actually had the big wall around it, right? Like, I was expanding empires, my friend Water, um... Basically helped me build some really nice kingdom last time. Like, kingdoms, actually. Uh, but they didn't have solid uh, stone roads like this one. I mean this one's really polished if you really like look at the organization on the roads The people have buildings here people are doing really nice things. They have a house on a hill um, And I also have all these now if you guys are wondering why isn't this one off? This was actually meant for expansion, but I don't think we're gonna get there I also want to have this area because it's just a nice flat area I should probably also connect a road and show that okay, we're gonna go here next um and yeah, so this is the capital of the society, capitalist kingdom. Uh, probably the first actual functional one that's very well organized. Um, and the whole thing, because I can sit back, relax, and the kingdom will thrive. Now, a lot of people can't do that. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Huh? Where, where is he trying to go? He's trying to dodge us, bro? Oh, I hit the tree. Bam. Okay, I suck. <laughs> that's why I don't fight. <laughs> All right. So yeah, just just if you guys you can do this for five hundred blue steel. I'm not even joking. You can do this for five hours. Uh, it, it, like you can go hours on end with just a few hundred blue steel. I mean, it's a few hundred blue steel, yes. But then again, like when you look at it, it's very uh, nice. You know what I mean? Uh, for the capitalist society, it's re it's reliable. People don't betray you as often as communism. If you work in a communist uh, kingdom, it's actually gonna be much harder for you to maintain power. In this one, just be rich. But that's it. <laughs> Alright, and you're pretty secure. You're pretty good. Nobody's gonna betray you. Now, I do suggest hosting lotteries. Um, how does the lottery work? Uh, go down your member list, count down, get a random generator, and give them the steal that you announced. It's basically that easy. So, I hope this video uh, was very entertaining to you guys, because, well, I mean, it's a literal capitalist empire. The first one that's very well organized. And I... Look, look at this. Look at this. I mean, I do see a lot of green, and I don't really like that. Ew. I only like these cities. But um, I will expand later, and I might actually give an update if I do. So that would be cool. Um, uh, some dude made a floating platform. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'll see you guys in the next survival video. And uh, bye.